Right, I'm going to be changing my uh, uh, there you go uh, mount swing arm. It's really basically it's the rubbers, the vibration sort of isolation rubbers that that fit in in that bit there. So what I've done off camera, obviously. Took tank off because I want to be able to get at this top adjuster. Um, obviously took seat off, took panniers off. I've loosened the exhaust system off because by rights you should really take the exhausts off to do this side. But because I've done a few of these I know I can get away with it. You loosen the exhaust off. As you can see there is a lump of wood. That's I've just pulled the exhaust out put that lump of wood in and it gives me access to that bolt but there's enough room that I can actually take the bolt out um, which then allows this to come out this bit here so that's all prepped up ready once I've changed all the bushes over I'm going to be doing a wheel alignment so obviously if you change bushes or the front engine mount or anything like that you need to do a wheel alignment because there's no saying that this thing's going to be back in line with the new bushes etc so I need to be able to get to the front adjuster which is sort of you know, a tech regulator rectifier off I can get at the front adjuster um, for the top adjuster Obviously, I have tech. You, you can get away with just lifting the tank up, but I wanted the tank off anyways because I need to get in and clean tops of these cylinder heads off properly. I've not been under there for a while. Um, but yeah, I want to be able to not only check that the alignment's correct front to back, I want to make sure that the wheel's upright level with the bike when the bike's level, etc. So, right, I'll knock you off for a minute. Get you put on the tripod uh, and we'll make a start on changing all this lot over. Right, back in a minute. Right, before we do out, um, what I should have said on the first video, first part of the video, sorry, is uh, I've got the bike sat on a, on a, on its jack, the red sort of lift, not the proper bench that I've got, just on the lift. I've jacked it up till the back wheel just came off the ground and then lowered it just till the back wheel touched. Then I got my little scissor lift um, and put that underneath so that it's supporting underneath the back of the gearbox. Because obviously this lot bolts through, right through the gearbox and everything. So I'm hoping, and it probably won't happen, but I'm hoping that once I undo the bolt in here, I can also undo the one on the other side <clears throat> but if I can't then I'm gonna to have to push the shaft out so it's best to have your gearbox <coughs> your gearbox supported so that's all sat in supported and everything so first thing take the little chrome cover off just pops out with a just using a little hooky tool stick that to one side and then basically I'll put uh, all right, I've got the wrong yeah, wrong socket on that it's an 11 16th socket for the for the nut in there but I need to put one in the other side as well so I'll just be a sec, I'll just grab my pointy tool basically what I'm going to do on the other side is exactly what I've just done there I'll just pop the little chrome cover off and I'll put another 11 16th socket in on the other side so that I can hold it on the other side cover out so now I'll get my socket in and I should be able to 
should be able to reach across the bike, well from this side, reach across the bike and hold that one steady. Uh, says he. Right, let's go to that one. And then just Right, before I take it fully off, that one stayed in the other side, which is cool. Yeah, before I take the nut fully off, I mean, it's not far away anyways. What I'm going to do now is, there's a little, on this side, the right hand side of the bike, there's a little clip that needs to come off, um, which holds brake line. So I'll just undo that. Just a little, tiny, tiny little sort of screw. Move the bracket out of the way. Put the screw somewhere safe. And then basically, I'll swap the socket over for a 5 8 and crack. They shouldn't be that tight anyways, because they're not torqued up to a high figure. But this one, I'll have to get with the spanner. Take the bottom one out first, which will take us a, a little bit longer than the top one. Yeah, these bushes, they recommend, I might be wrong on this, but I'm sure it was uh, something like 30,000 miles to change these bushes. And I've got nearly 49,000 miles on the clock now, and I've never changed them. But I have noticed just recently that uh, the bike's starting to follow cracks in the road. Which is a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not affecting your riding. It's not. I haven't got any speed wobbles or out like that in the corners. But it is starting to follow. Right, that's that one loosened off. Yeah, so it's just making me think that these bushes are probably on the way out. They've probably gone a bit soft. Right, so you undo them two, the two bolts, and it just lifts that support plate off. So I'll just stick that down there out of the way. And you do this one side at a time as well. Um, so I'll take that nut the rest of the way off. I can find the socket. What have I just done with that? There. Right in front of me. Couldn't see it for looking at it. So I'll take this nut the rest of the way off. Stick that down there. Now, by right, you should be able to just pull this out. Just keep behind it. Without grabbing out of everything else, and it will work its way out. There's a spacer in here as well, which would be easier if I got that out of the way. Right, I'm just going to get my hook tool, which I've left around the other side of the bike. Oh. 
about it. Right, that's a little spacer that comes out, sits inside inside that. And it does uh, and there you can see it's actually wearing through the rubber and that so I think I think it's actually a good idea to change it when I have sort of thing. Well I should have changed it earlier really but so the ones I've bought are just drag speciality ones. I've used them before. Seem to be okay, I've never had any complaints about them. And it actually when you compare the two you can twist it the right way around. Compare the two, the look at that one looks proper knackered now. <coughs> so on these, should have brought a bit of rag. On these, there's a little, like a indentation on that bit there, and on the plate that I took off, there's a like a, a bit that sticks out. When these go together, that it's got to, the little indentation's got to sit onto that plate. So if you if you put it together and sort of look at where that would sit and then pull the plate away you see where the notch sort of wants to be I mean you can turn it when it's in there but if you put it somewhere near to start with and as you, as you see there it just goes straight back in um, and then your little washer Just goes back in. And then I'll get this, just take that nut out of there. Put this back to put it back in, hopefully. Get it so it lines up to the to the bush. Start the top. Gearbox is dropped. I'll just give me a socket. What I'm doing is I'm just jacking the the back of the gearbox back up so that I can get this. Uh, To line back up <coughs> and I can't get my fingers in properly at the minute. Right I'm just going to knock you off for a sec, I'm going to get a rag so I can clean my fingers off a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Right. Right get the plate, put the bolts back in it and, uh, and try again. Offer the plate up, keep an eye on the back of it, grab my little torch, you want to make sure that you're, oh, that you're slipping into the, the what you call it, the slot on the back and then if need be you can twist it slightly, put that up here out of line, okay. So you just got to mess about um, getting it to uh, just get it so it's lined up properly is what I mean. Um, when it lines up it'll fit. That, I know that makes sense obviously when it's lined up it fits. What I mean is when you put this plate in and it's lined up properly so that it goes, the slot goes into the the hole in, sorry, the groove in the the rubber bit. When it's all in line, your bolts go in properly. Take a bit of wheel in a 
on, just, just sort of bear with it. Because you think you've got it lined up and then you find that the the rubber won't sit in won't sit in there properly. And the rubber's got to go in there properly. Um, for it all to sit correctly, if you know what I mean. So I'll just put the plate in again. Make sure it's all in the hole, which it is there, and then see how far out the holes are, and then I know which way I need to turn it. Oh. really. Now this is where it's handy not having the exhaust system on because um, it does make it easier for getting the bolts in and out but the way I'm doing it, it just saves time. Right so offer that one in first. That's where it starts. Come on, your ass. Is it? And then get the bottom sort of lined up. Try and get this one from underneath. And get it started. So the bottom one's screwing in now. So start tightening it up but what I've got to be careful of is that I've actually got it if you know what I mean um, I don't want to start tightening it in and find out that it's not on that rubber properly so just keep stopping and checking that it's all lining up properly I know I'm blocking your view at the minute but I need to be able to see myself right it's going into the going into the slot but I need to to just put the lever in and just lift it ever so slightly so that the bottom bit of rubber pops on somewhere off it <sighs> and I'm doing some grunting because I'm trying to I'm working between bikes here I haven't got a lot of room where I'm at so I might need to drop one of these lifts down but I don't know which one obviously not that one so I'll just lift that back up so it's up the gearbox And just lower the the big in slightly. Oh, not too much that she rolls away on us. But it gives us the play I need, I think, to be able to just lift that and get that rubber to go in. So Slack up on the top one. Sometimes these will go in dead easy. 
you know, and you laugh. You think, oh God, that was easy. But then other times, they can be right sort of fiddly bastards. What I don't want to do is tighten it and force it and find out that the rubber's not going in the, the thing properly. Right, I'm just going to knock it off a second, I'll be back. Right, what I've just done, I knocked you off because I wanted to take the plate back off and have a look, make sure that, that was seated properly because there's like a notch on that uh, shaft that that bush has got to sit in. It sits in the middle of the hole in there. Uh, and I'm glad I did because what I'd done without even realising I'd done it, that washer that I was on about, if I just turn it slightly, you can see it's it's got a, it, it's like recessed, it's got a bigger hole outer diameter, sorry, inner diameter hole on that front edge than it has on the back edge. And I'd actually put it in with that recessed bit facing out uh, and it's not meant to be, it's meant to be the other way around. Um, that wasn't making a shite of difference to it lining up. Uh, I just wanted to check that I had it in properly, that's why I took the plate back off. But I'm, as I say, I'm glad I did because I'd put that the wrong way around and I hadn't even realised I'd done it. So that goes in with the recess to the inside to sit up against the... Uh, the step on the shaft. Put my screw down, just make sure that's going in all the way. Cool. And what I'll do is I'll just run the uh, the nut back on just to hold that in place. I'm not going to tighten it up obviously, I'm just going to run it in so that it holds that washer where it's meant to be. Yeah. So now what I can do is I can start putting the, the plate back on, making sure that again that you line the the outer bit up. Uh, no, I don't know what I've done with the nuts, bolts. Sorry. And there's one of them. Line first in the bottom. Right, and now what I need to do is uh, torch it back there. And see how far off the hole it is. Oh, try and keep the plate on. What I'm trying to do here is is align the two holes up and down uh, while the plate's sat in its slot. So I need to bring it round a touch. Make sure that top one's still in line. Oh, then I need to get the. The gearbox to come up a bit. Oh. Right, with what I need to do now, I'm going to block your view. Oh. So I'm just going to knock you off for a minute. 
And once I've got uh, this in place properly, I'll come back. I'll just be a minute. Right, I'm back. <clears throat> uh, it's the next day. Um, now, basically, when I knocked the camera off, I was I was starting to get pissed off. To be truthful, um, it was last night, late last night. I shouldn't have even bothered coming in the garage last night. Um, but what I did when I knocked the camera off, we got to the point where I was struggling to line that up. Um, so and I knocked the camera off. Basically, I didn't do anything else with it. Um, and what I did do was because I want to put a new disc on my back wheel. I thought, right, take the back wheel out. You can't fuck that up. So I took the back wheel out. Um, I've also wanted to inspect my shocks. So I've took the shocks off uh, and then I went to bed basically. I was fucking knackered. Um, and I basically didn't even follow me on. Um, one of my things is if you're tired, don't fucking work on your bikes because shit goes wrong. I mean, just simple thing like when I put that together, I put that uh, like little washer spacer thing in, I put the fucker in the wrong way around. And it's simple things like that that just completely fuck a job up. So anyways, went to bed. <clears throat> this morning, come back in, nice and awake, sort of thing. Um, and what I've done, I'll take you off this stand and I'll show you what I've done, basically. I should have switched the camera on earlier, but I forgot. Typical. Um, <clears throat> as you can see down there, I've took, took all that lot back out that was in there, the new bush etc. Um, there's a brass bar going right through the middle because what I should have done and filmed it, it's now major, you know, it, but what I've done is I took that side off, that side plate off which goes in here, it basically, taking the plate off is the same as the other side, it's just two bolts, one there and one there and that plate comes off which then leaves you, I don't know where the bush is it, well basically what you do is you knock the shaft out and you end up with that I'll just zoom out a touch yeah you end up with that shaft that's how it comes out now what I've done is I knock the shaft out using that that bar the bars supporting the swing arm basically if I pull that bar out now I could actually take that swing arm off um, and I'm not wanting to do that, so hence the bar in there, it's in place. But I've took the old bush off. I don't know where the fucking bush has gone. Oh, it's here. Right. So, yeah, took the old bush off. Um, you can see it's state of it's similar to the other side. It's, you can tell it's fucked. Um, and obviously bolted the new one in place and it's held on exactly the same as the other side nut and just down underneath that nut you can just see there's that washer spacer that was the same on the other side with the recess that faces in and not out so I've knocked that out so basically what I'm going to do is from this side I'll, I'll feed that back through but before I do that um, I've obviously cleaned the shaft so I need to put some more anti-seize on it. Um, I'm going to put you back on the tripod and I'm going to fit the other side. That's my bars by the way just there. You can see my back wheel as well. I haven't done the disc yet. I've got the disc to change but that's my straight edges and they are straight. If I kick them together there's no gap at all. They're proper straight and that's what I'll be using when I come to do the wheel alignment. See, that's another thing that sort of fucked me up last night. I'm trying to get this thing to go back into the, the new bush, etc. Um, and in my head, it's I've just got to get it in and you know keep it in where it was meant to be. Now, that's wrong. I'm doing an alignment after it anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's not exactly where it was. It'll be... When, you, when I show you this going back together, it'll be in the right position. The, that's the new one. 
and as I say you've got that little notch um, that sits into the the bit that sticks out on the plate so so when you put that in it can only go in one position there's, there's, a, there's no move well and fucking hell less than a millimeter of movement on it so basically I'll get that I'm going to put that in and put this side plate on then I'll put the shaft through from the other side and get it to go through this hole in, the, in this plate and then get the spacer in etc and then tighten it all up uh, then once it's all tightened up then I can uh, sort of start checking for alignments obviously not properly straight away because obviously the back wheel's not in now what I will do once I've got all this back together as in the centre bit all that's back together properly is uh, I'll knock you off I'll inspect my shockers which is one of the things I wanted to do while I've got it all in bits there were certain things I wanted to do which I'm not going to film because all I'm doing is giving them a look over um, change me disc on my back wheel and probably give the back wheel a clean while it's out um, and then I'll put the back wheel back in get it all sort of tested and stuff uh, tested check belt tension etc then I'll get set up for doing the uh, wheel alignment uh, and that's when I'll bring you back so, so I'll just knock you off for now uh, and I'll be back in a minute right let's make a start right bush in get it sort of pushed in up against the spacer inside now, now it's lining up as in swing arm wise because it's loose obviously but I'll get this plate in Torch. I'm just going to make sure this notch in the back is lining up. She's in, in place, so I'm just looking at the fingers underneath. It's bolt started. Just, I don't know, I'm blocking your view, I know, but I'm just getting this bottom bolt started. So we're only cockeyed. It's all that's properly in. So I'm just going to wind that bottom bolt in a touch just to I'm not tighten it up fully, I'm just winding it in a touch so the bottom doesn't pop out. And then what I need to do is get the top one in. Just make sure we're looking the hole 
make sure the rubber's inside. You can see at the back, and then check that the notch is actually in where it's meant to be, which it is. Now I haven't fully tightened them, I've just nipped them up. So this top one. Same with that, it's just nipped up. You still have a feel inside, you can tell the rubber's in place properly. And again, just double check that your notch is in. And that's in perfect position. So, right, I'll just knock you off for a sec.